Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango and this one hour Pilates workout will help you to strengthen your core and get your perfect abs. So if you're ready, just roll your mitt and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit towards your back in neutral. Pull the belly button in, chest open, shoulders down. Let's start the warm up before we start the main workout. So you can always open your legs or sit on a pillow if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine. Otherwise, just cross your leg like this and lengthen your spine. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And two more deep breaths. Exhale. And last one. And exhale. And now I want you to put your hands on your thighs. Just lengthen your spine here. And take your times with your own breath. So we want to feel relaxed before we start the workout. I wanted to really focus on this moment. Inhale and exhale. Totally focus on your breath. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And one more time. Exhale and slowly open your eyes. Bring your head to one side. Feel the side of your neck is stretching and to the other side. Couple more times, take with your own breath to the opposite side. And two more times here. Slowly with your own breath. And the last one. And to the opposite side. And slowly bring it back to the center. Look down to your mat. You can even bring your hands on your head and relax your arms here so you feel the gravity of your arms on your head here. Pull the belly button in. And slowly look up. Just as far as you can listen to your neck. And come back, look down one more time. And look up. And slowly bring it back to the center. Very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to rotate your torso to one side, hands on opposite thighs, and rotate your torso to the back. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one to the other side. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and then slowly come back to the center. Articulate your spine. Look towards the front cat and come in sitting position. And again, feel free to open your legs if it's apart, if it's easier for your spine here. We're going to hold it here for five, four, three, two, and then around your spine. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one back to the center and rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse and now bring your arm to the side shoulders down rotate the torso to one side come back to the other side and back to the center five more times take with your own breath so keep breathing four inhale lengthen your spine lengthen your arms three belly button in and two more times, take your own breath. And last one. To the other side. And slowly bring it back to the center, hands down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to come to the main workout by lie all the way down on your mat. Okay? Now keep your back in neutral. Bend your knees, open your legs, if you depart. Arms along your body and lift your heels up. I wanted to pull the belly button in, press your hip bones down. Now start to bring one leg up and the other leg up and then slowly bring it down to the mat. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times, stay with your own breath. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale 9. You can always make it more challenging by bringing both legs up at the same time. But make sure you keep your back in neutral 8. And 7, activate your feet. 6, keep the same angle on your knees. Press your shoulder blades down five and four. Keep breathing your whole arms down for more support. Three, inhale up. 
two and exhale down and last one and slowly bring it back and lift your legs up to 90 degrees here activate your feet open your arm to the side start to bring your legs from the left come back to the right and back to the center and then try to do it for five more times take your own breath so keep breathing four belly button in to the other side and three keep breathing to the opposite side two more times take your own breath and last one inhale and exhale to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center bring your legs down shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now let's do a little bit challenging movement here so lift your head up hands apart your head open your elbows wider and really pull the belly button in press your feet down i wanted to open your elbows wider put your shoulders far away from your ears inhale and exhale lift your torso up and down for 10 keep breathing nine same distance from your chin to your chest eight seven exhale every time you lift it up six and five feel your six back up here four three elbows wider two and last one slowly bring it down now do make it to the next level by lift your leg up with your torso so again lift your head up hands support your head inhale lift your heels up and exhale reach come back to the other side again always put your shoulders towards the hips here and we're gonna, we're gonna do it for nine more times each side so eight reach come back to the other side seven pull the belly button in opposite side six keep breathing go a little bit further five now i wanted to make sure you keep your chest up not your neck so you're gonna feel your core more here and four same angle on your knee three keep breathing beautiful guys two almost done i love this now last one to the other side and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right and when you're ready i wanted to slowly lift one knee to the chest and lengthen your leg towards the front inhale and exhale switch now if you want to make it more challenging lift your head off the mat and on fist distance from your chin to your chest i'm going to try to do it for five more times each side here with your own breath keep breathing for chest a little bit higher and feel free to use your hand just support your head if you need to three pull the belly button in two and last one exhale every time you switch and slowly bring your torso down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to lift your head up now this time you can always use your hand to support your head all the time here inhale and exhale knees to chest inhale lengthen your legs and exhale bend your knees again so to make it more challenging lift your head up and hug your hands with your shins here inhale arms over your head legs straight and exhale bend so i'm going to try to do it here for five times so inhale hug your shin lengthen and exhale extend your hands towards the front again four Press your hip bones down to the mat. Use your hand to support your head. Anytime if you need to. Three, keep breathing. And two, belly button in. Now last one, lengthen. Come back and slowly bring your head down. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to open your arms to the side. Lengthen your legs up to 90 degrees. Now bring your leg down and come back to the opposite side plant our flex with your feet 10 times to each side if you want to make it more challenge bring your arms towards the center and bring both legs down at a time and come back beautiful and seven more times here with your own breath so keep breathing six pressure hip bones down come back and five inhale back in neutral and don't have to bring your legs so low just really listen to your back here four three keep breathing and two activate your feet really stabilize your hips here engage your core and last one inhale down and exhale slowly bring it back up your knees to your chest 
inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now let's do a little bit waist sculpting movement here i wanted to press your feet down and support your head open your elbows wider i wanted to inhale and shoulders far away from your ears one fist distant from your chin to your chest now try to reach your chest to the opposite side so come up and down to the other side come back 10 times with your own breath each side keep breathing and nine if you want to make it more challenge bring your opposite leg up to the other side seven pull the belly button in six open your elbows wider shoulders down towards the hip five exhale every time you lift it up four belly button in and three keep breathing to the other side two very good guys now last one to the opposite side and slowly bring it down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready keep your arms along your body again now keep your legs up to 90 degrees dorsi flex with your feet inhale and bring both legs towards the front and then come back now make it easier by just bringing each leg at a time to the other side and come back and try to do it 10 times with your own breath make sure you activate your feet and let's do it together for 10 press your hip bones down to the mat back in neutral nine pull the belly button in eight and seven keep breathing six and five engage your core as much as possible four belly button in each leg at a time if it's easier for you three and two and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest and now deeply to your nose rotate your ankles and then reverse exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet here open your arms to the side this time we're going to do a little bit more challenging you can always soften your knees if it's easier for you bring both legs to the side and then come back to the other side now again make it more challenging lengthen your legs move your legs a little further away from your hips and come back press your shoulder blades down to the mat and only bring your legs to the point that your shoulder blades do stick to the mat so I wanted to inhale come back exhale inhale to the opposite side and exhale come back I'm gonna try to do it for eight more times each side here and five pull the belly button in to the other side four keep breathing go a little bit further through your waist are burning and being attack <laughs> so keep breathing here three belly button all the way in and two more times take with your own breath to the other side two to the opposite side and last one inhale and exhale come back to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to move to the next challenge so arms down to the mat pressure on foot down to the mat and the opposite leg lift up to 90 degrees dorsi flex with your foot now press your feet down press your arms down to the mat and tuck the tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up keep your hips here engage your core belly button in knees on top of your ankle and lengthen your leg and then come back 10 times here so 10 squeeze your thighs stabilize your hips nine pull the belly button in shoulder blades down eight inhale seven exhale come back six keep breathing try to reach a little bit further if you can only your leg is moving five and four belly button in squish your thighs very good guys almost done three and two beautiful now last one lengthen and then come back and hips down bring it down to the opposite side dorsi flex with your foot again arms down to the mat and draw your hips all the way up squeeze your booty squeeze in the thigh and lengthen and then come back for nine keep breathing eight seven stabilize your hips really pull the belly button toward the spine six and five don't hold your breath four inhale and exhale press your shoulder blades down three keep breathing and two and last one lengthen and slowly bring it back hips down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose 
exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again now move your knees further away from your hips so you're gonna feel your lower abs are working the fat on your belly are burning right now open your arms to the side shoulder blades down and i wanted to move further away open your legs and then come back you can always make it easier by bringing your knees towards the chest but don't over your hips here because i want it just to feel it's working and burning here so 10 times you got your own breath inhale open exhale come back back in neutral nine pull the belly button in eight move up even further over if you want more challenge seven six activate your feet and five engage your core as much as possible four three two and last one and when you're ready just lift your legs up all the way up plant up flex with your feet open your arms to the side engage your core here now i wanted to inhale you can always stop to your knees a little bit but i wanted to really lengthen to make more challenge here and lift your head up use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider engage your core activate your feet now inhale and bring your torso towards the legs and move your legs further away for 10 more times with your own breath if you want to make it easier bend your knees to 90 degrees and then come back for 10 keep breathing nine belly button in eight and seven six go a little bit higher five make sure you engage your core open your elbows three two and last one reach and slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest inhale delete your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now we're gonna lean on one side to do the side lift so hands down hand down on the mat forearm down shoulders on top of your elbow and i wanted to engage your core top leg towards the front bottom leg towards the back dorsi flex with your feet now pull the belly button in shoulders far away from your ears hand behind your head you can always bring your hand on hand if you're a beginner so that way you have more support with your whole forearm and keep the same equal uh, force on your whole arms here so you're gonna feel better with your core and lift your hips up pull the belly button in put your shoulders far away from your ears now inhale and start to make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and bring it down one more time like this but this time a little bit more challenging try it first before you decided to bring your hand to the other hand again now hand behind your head lift your hips up and your hips again lift it up like a little pulse for 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two one and slowly bring it down very good all right now you want to allow yourself to engage your core put your shoulders far away from your ears lift your waist up pull the belly button in activate your feet and leg on leg here make sure that your hips not forward or not backward just hit just keep it balanced and pull the belly button in inhale lift your leg up and exhale bring it down for 10 keep breathing nine you can always make it easier by rest your head your torso down on the mat here eight seven engage your core six and five really pull the belly button in four three two and last one lift and slowly bring it down now rest your whole palms your whole arms down to the mat press your hands down activate your feet and bring your legs a little bit towards the front until you can bring both legs up above the mat without moving or flat to add your hips here so really stabilize your hips pull the belly button in engage your core lift both legs up at the same time and then bring it down so listen to your body here it's totally fine if you lift each leg every time and keep breathing 10 times so 10 9 8 7 squishing your thighs a 6 and 5 keep breathing 4 belly button in 3 two and last one slowly bring it down and bend your legs here pull the belly button in engage your core now lift your leg up just above the hips here and i want you to dorsi flex with your foot so pull the belly button in lift your head up and engage your core shoulders far away from your ears now bring your leg towards the back keep the same angle 90 degree on your knee and then move all the way towards the front so pull the belly button in and make sure you feel your core here so pull the belly all the way towards the spine nine eight keep breathing 
plantar flex with your foot or dorsi flex with your foot. Seven. Six. Press your bottom leg down to the mat. And five. Engage your core. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Go a little bit further so you're going to feel more on your core. And two more times with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. All right. Now press your forearm down to the mat again and hand on the other hand for more support. Now I wanted to keep your foot on foot or you can bend your bottom knee if it's easier for you here. Lift your hip as high as you can and dorsi flex with your feet. I wanted to inhale, lift your leg up and down or just more challenging version. Lift your whole length in your leg here and then lift your leg up and down 10. Keep breathing, waist up a little bit higher, 9. Eight. You can even make it more challenging. Seven, by bring your hand behind your head. Six, and five, four. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Three, two, and last one, slowly bring your hips down to the opposite side to do silent. Okay. All right, so now forearm down to the mat and the other hand on top of your hand if it's easier for you. Now, Move your top leg towards the front, your bottom leg towards the back. Leave your hips as high as you can and make sure you don't flex for hip towards the front. Pull the belly button in. Now make a little pause with your hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly bring it down. Hand behind your head for most challenging. So lift your hips up for 10, 9, 8. Press your whole hands down to the mat. 4, 3, Two and one, slowly bring your hips down again and press your head on your hand. I wanted to engage your core and keep both legs up. So pull the belly button in, inhale and bring your top leg, bend your knees here. You can both bend your knees 90 degrees here, move your knees towards the front and then move backward for 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, nine, eight, engage your core as much as possible. Seven, keep your leg just above the hips. Six, and five. Inhale, and exhale, or you can reverse the breath. It is easier for you. Four, belly button in, and three, keep breathing. Two, and last one, inhale, and exhale, and slowly bring it back. Rest your whole head now, and press your whole palms down to the mat. Now I wanted to engage your core, activate your feet here and find a balance on your hip bones so that you can bring both legs up without fluctuating your hips here. So pull the belly button in and legs up at a time and then come back for 10. Keep breathing, nine, to make it easier, just do each leg at a time, eight, seven, six, and five, four, engage your core, three, shoulders far away from your ears, two, and last one, slowly bring it down. Very good. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to put your forearm down to the mat, actually show as far away from your ears. Now I wanted to engage your core and lift your leg as high as you can and slowly bring it down 10 times with your own breath. Nine, you can always make it easier by rest your head, your torso down on the mat here. Eight, seven, engage your core, six, and five, really pull the belly button in, four, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring it down. Now engage your core and lift your hips as high as you can. You can always bring your hand behind your hip, it's easier, even more challenging for you. So lift your top leg up and down for 10, keep breathing, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, Almost done guys, four belly button in, three, two, and last one, lift and down, and slowly bring your hips down, allow yourself to lie all the way down on the belly here. Now engage your core and bring your hands towards the neck, or close your elbows towards your body. Now I want to look down to the mat and inhale, lift your torso up. Exhale, bring it down, open your legs, see with the part here for 10, 9. If you want to make it easier for your wrist, put your whole forearm down to the mat. 8. Pull the belly button in. 7. 6. Keep breathing. And 5. 4. 3. 
pressure hip bones that really engage your core to support the lower back too. Now last one, and slowly bring it down. And now I want you to allow yourself to bring your hands over your head. So now put your shoulders far away from your ears, look down to the mat. Inhale, lift your arm and opposite leg up. Exhale, bring it down to the opposite side. If you want to make more challenging with your core here, just lift each leg and both legs and arms at a time. So inhale up and exhale down for 10. Keep breathing, nine, eight. Press your hip bones down, seven, six, and five, engage your core here with your own breath. Four, three, belly button all the way in. Two, and last one, and slowly bring it down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now you to allow yourself to just put your hands down, your forearms towards the front of your chest here, tuck your feet, open your legs a bit apart. Now, press your whole forearms down, pull the belly button in, lift your hips up engage your core as much as possible so you can just hold it here if you are a beginner otherwise if you want more challenging just lift your whole torso up come to forearm plank here so put your whole forearms down and hold it here for five keep breathing don't hold your breath just hold the movement you hold the position three two inhale and exhale and last one and exhale and slowly bend your knees down Reach your whole torso, your whole body down to the mat again. Very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to just bend your knees to 90 degrees here. If you can catch your ankles with your arms, then that's perfect. If you just feel like you want more easy for your body, just rest your head on your hands here. Now activate your feet and lift your torso up and down. So really listen to your back in this movement. You strengthen your core and your back at the same time. So inhale, lift and exhale down for 10 nine keep breathing eight seven six go a little bit further if you can but really listen to your back pull the belly button in four three and two more times see with your own breath now last one and slowly bring it down very good now rest your head on your head make a pillow in under your head here put your shoulder far away from your ears and activate your feet again now lift one leg up and lengthen come back and down so really engage your core in this movement 10 times with your own breath inhale and lengthen and bend and down to the opposite side come back nine keep breathing to the other side eight listen to your body and seven engage your core as much as possible very good put your shoulders far away from your ears towards the hips six inhale up lengthen exhale down and bend six to the opposite side press your hip bones down back in neutral pull the belly button in four and three more times with your own breath to the opposite side to inhale up and lengthen exhale bend and down and last one inhale and exhale to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to come to bring your hands over your head one more time and this time i want to engage your core lift your torso up put your shoulders far away from your ears here look down to the mat and slowly open your legs to the side and then come back so listen to your lower back here you can always bring your whole torso down to the mat if it's easier for your back listen to your body and try to do it for 10 times with your own breath so 10 if you want to make it more challenging just lift your arms up open and then come back seven six engage your core as much as possible five four stabilize your hips three keep breathing two and last one and slowly bring your whole torso down now make a little bit more challenging movement here by engage your core lift your whole arms and legs up and start to pumping your opposite arm and leg make sure you press your hips down pull the belly button in to stabilize your hips so you can see only my arms and my legs are moving but my torso is stabilizing I'm gonna try to do it for 10 more times here. Nine, eight, 
seven, use your whole arms to pump, your whole leg to pump, and four, three, two, and last one, slowly bring your torso down, you can come to short pose, open your knees wider to stretch your back more, deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, inhale one more deep breath, and exhale, and when you're ready, let's move to the second part of the workout. So, just sit along the mat here and bend your knees, open your legs if you're apart, lengthen your spine. And to engage your core, lengthen and keep your back in neutral so make sure you don't arch or rise your spine. Keep it in the middle. Now go all the way towards the back so you can already feel there's like some uh, challenge with your core already. Just hold it here and take your time. Enjoy the area, enjoy the environment here. And I'm going to slowly bring your hands under your thighs. Now shoulders far away from your ears. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. So you can always let go of your hands if it's easier for, if it's more challenging with your core. Otherwise, if you want to make it easier, put your hands here for more support and make sure you open your elbows wider. Now, look towards the front. Don't look up to the ceiling because it's going to cause a lot of pressure on your neck. So pull the belly button in, chest up. Now engage your core, activate your feet. Slowly lift your arms up and down for 10 times with your own breath. So 10, pull the belly button in, 9. Elbows open wider like we're hugging a big tree. 8, 7, or like we're doing ballet here. Six, keep breathing. Five, four, lengthen your spine still. Keep breathing. Three, and two, and last one. Slowly bring your torso back to the center. Now let's move to the next level. Now just move your back to the back again and lengthen your spine. Arms up to the parallel to the ground, and we're gonna start from here. So this time, instead of bringing it down and up, we're gonna try to lift as high as you can all the way to the sky, and then come back 10 times with your own rest. So let's do it together. Inhale, 10, and exhale, come back. Nine, pull the belly button in, stretch in your wrist. Eight, engage your core. Seven, work your core here, and your torso at the same time. Six, and five, four, belly button in. Three and two and last one and slowly bring it back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips and her deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and when you're ready, I want to lean back one. Put your whole forearms down to the mat for more support. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and your chest. Push up. Lengthen your spine. Pull the belly button in. Now activate your feet. Lift your legs up, inhale, and lengthen one leg towards the front and switch. Then we're doing bicycle here for 10. Keep breathing, chin to chest, look towards the front, 9, 8, 7, stabilize your hips, 6, pull the belly button in, 5, 4, shoulders far away from your ears, 3, keep breathing, don't hold your breath, 2, and last one, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips, Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> Alright, press your whole forearms down to the mat. Engage your core and hold your torso here. Lengthen both legs towards the front. To make it much easier, just open your legs hip width apart. Otherwise, bring it all the way towards the center for more challenging. Now lift both legs up at the same time and then bring it down. You can always soften your knees and keep the same angle on your knees if it's easier for you like this. Otherwise, lengthen your legs. I want you to try your best. So let's do it 10 times with your own breath. Make sure you put your shoulders far away from your ears and look towards the front so you're not going to feel a little bit, um, pressure on your neck. And let's do it together. So 10 and 9. Keep breathing. Each leg at a time is, if it's easier to. 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, Beautiful guys, almost done too. And last one, and slowly bring your legs down. Hug your knees to your chest. I can feel my body is sweating right now. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, just like all the way down on the mat again. So lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Arms along your body. And now 
um, press down to the mat, shoulder blades down to the mat, activate your feet, move your knees further away from your chest. Now engage your core, dorsi flex with your feet, lengthen both legs towards the 45 degree here or higher, it is easier for your body, but try your best first before you decide to make it easier. Now lift your legs up and then down for 10, engage your core, 9, back in neutral, 8, belly button all the way in 7, 6, inhale lift, exhale down and 4, belly button in, can feel your core is shaking right now, 3, beautiful 2, stabilize your torso, all your legs are moving and last one, and now open your legs to the side, come back for 5, engage your core here, 4, feel your lower abs are working, 3, and two, and last one, slowly hug your knees to your chest. Very good, guys. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lengthen your legs up, plant up, flex with your feet, open your legs, your arms to the side again. Now just take a gentle movement to prepare for the next challenge. So lengthen your leg, or you can soften your knees a little bit, use your whole leg to the side, and then come back, so open and then come back for 10, keep breathing, 9, 8, 7, keep your hips stabilized and press your hip bones down, 6, 5, open as wide as you can and bring it back slowly, listen to your hips, 3, 2, and last one, open, come back, hug your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, just lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. And this time, keep your arms along the body, activate your feet. Now slowly bring one leg down to the mat and move your legs towards the side. Come back to the other side and open and back to the center. You can always make it more challenging by lengthening both legs. Open and come back, slide and switch. So keep breathing. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times here each side with your own breath and nine more times the inhale open come back to the other side keep the legs lengthening and make sure you stabilize your hips here press your whole shoulder blades down so only your legs are moving but you're gonna feel your core are working really hard so keep breathing six to the other side and five more times stick with your own breath to the opposite side four belly button in engage your core as much as possible and three more times open come back to the other side two almost done guys very good keep a little bit more now last one inhale open come back and to the other side to make it balance on both sides and slowly hug your knees to your chest that's awesome inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right, one more deep breath and exhale and let's move to the next challenge here. All right, so now I need to engage your core, keep your arms along your body again and lengthen one leg to 45 degree to the front, plant up flex with your foot. Now slowly lift your leg up and then down and then up and then down. So 10 times with your own breath, keep breathing, nine, pull the belly button in, eight, Seven, six, and five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and last one, up and down and bend to the opposite side. So up and down for 10 times with your own breath. Make sure you engage your core, stabilize your hips, eight, seven, six, and five, very good three keep breathing two and last one and slowly bend your knees down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now I wanted to allow yourself to take a little bit more challenging by just activate your feet open your legs a bit apart and draw your hips all the way up so press your shoulder blades down look towards your hips now inhale and slowly just make a little pull surge with your hips here for 10, 9, 
eight seven six five four three two one and then slowly draw your hips all the way down move your feet towards the center draw your hips all the way up again so you can just keep your feet as close as you can and make sure your hips stabilize here now i wanted to pull the belly button in lift one leg up with 90 degrees on your knee and then come back to the other side i'm going to try to do it for 10 times open your arms wider for more support 10 times each side here to the left stabilize your hips here nine keep breathing very good chin to chest eight inhale up and exhale down and seven lower your hip if it's easier for your lower back just listen to your body and six keep breathing otherwise lift your hips as high as you can five inhale and exhale to the other side and four belly button in to the opposite side three more times stick with your own breath keep breathing two and last one and slowly bring it back draw your hips all the way down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth lengthen your legs and now slowly dorsi flex with your feet bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling and now inhale chin to chest lift your chest up exhale reach a little bit further and then come back so 10 times with your own breath make sure you use your hand to support your neck if it's easier for you just listen to your body try to use your chest to lift the movement not your neck here then try to do it for eight more times take your own breath exhale lift inhale down one fist distance from your chin to your chest seven six keep breathing press your heels down to the mat five you can always bend your knees if you want to make it easier four three two and last one lift and down slowly rest your head down on the mat bring your head from left to right and then come back to the center inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready i'm going to allow yourself to lift both legs up to 90 degrees again and now this time i'm going to use your hand to hug your behind your legs here and open your elbows wider engage your core activate your feet now slowly lift your hips up and down for 10 keep breathing nine really pull the belly button in and don't have to lift so high listen to your back chin to chest eight seven six and five four use the core to move your hips up two and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again plant a flex with your feet arms along your body reach your hand towards the heels and i wanted to inhale slowly lengthen your legs to 60 degrees dorsi flex with your feet open your leg to the side make a little pulse here up and down so 10 9 8 Go a little bit lower if you can make your back in neutral and you want more challenging. Pull the belly button in and five, four, three, two, and last one. Slowly hug your knees to your chest. That's amazing. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, open your legs up. Keep your knees at 90 degree dorsi. Plant up flex with your feet. Open your arms to the side here. Now inhale and move both legs to the side. Keep the same angle on your knees all the time. Press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat and lengthen and then come back. Back to the center to the other side. Lengthen and back. So I'm going to try to do it for six more times each side here. Don't have to go so far. Just go as far as you can and as long as your shoulder blades press down to the mat. The opposite one. So come back to the other side, engage your core here. Try to lengthen your legs as far as you can. Four, belly button in to the other side. And three more times here. Inhale and exhale to the opposite side. Two, keep breathing. Activate your feet. And last one, inhale, lengthen exhale bend to the other side lengthen and bend and slowly bring it down hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right so now let's go to the most favorite movement 
in Pilates. Lift your head up, the 100, arms along your body and start to pump your whole arms here. Make sure you keep your one fist distant from your chin to your chest and use your whole arms to pump, not just your wrist. So lengthen and stretch your wrist here. Lift your chest a little bit higher, one fist distant. Use your hand to support your head all the time. It is easier for your legs, so just listen to your body. Chest higher, legs up to 90 degrees for more challenge and even more challenge. Lengthen your legs towards the front. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. And five, four. Lower your legs for more challenging. Three, and support your head if needed. Two, and last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. That's amazing. And you're deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Shake your hips. And you're deeply. Again. And exhale deeply. All right. And when you're ready, just lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Start sit flex with your feet. Open your arm to the side. And I want to engage your core. Lengthen both legs as to the ceiling as far as you can. Soften your knees if you need. But then lengthen. Try your best to go as far as you can. Just listen to your body here. No need to straighten all the way up. Now you want to inhale and slowly just bring both legs down to 45 degrees and then lift it up. You can always bring your arms towards the body to the center for more support. Otherwise, just open your arm to the side and make sure your butt always in neutral position. So only bring your legs to the point that your back is doing neutral and pull the belly button in for five, Keep breathing, four, go a little bit further if you can, three, and two, and last one, down, hold it here if you can, three, two, and one, bend your knees down, shake your hips and deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth, very good. Now you want to allow yourself to just lengthen your legs one more time, dorsal flex with your feet, open your arm to the side for more support. Now bring one leg to the side, hold it here, and the other leg follow, and then come back to the opposite side. So each leg at a time, really engage your core, lengthen your legs here, pull the belly button in, shoulder blades down to the mat. I'm going to try to do it for five more times with your own breath. So keep breathing each side. Come back and fall to the other side. Soften your knees if you need to. Listen to your hips. Three, press your shoulder blades down. Pull the belly button in. Two, go as far as your body. Your back still feel challenging but also feel good. Last one, to the opposite side. And slowly bring it back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale, deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to just open your legs here, open your arms to the side, tuck the tailbone forward, press your lower back down, and you start to bring your hips all the way up. Now, squeeze in the thighs, engage your core, start to bring your hips from left to right, so you're gonna feel your belly button in, just support your lower back. Keep the same height on your hips and balance. So just move it from left to right, but not like lift one side of the hip higher than the other one. So really listen to your body. Keep it balanced. Pull the belly button in. And try to do it for five, four, three. Do it slowly as far as you can, two. And last one, and slowly back to the center. Draw your hips all the way down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, when you're ready, I wanted to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. Dorsi flex with your feet, arms along your body now. Lengthen your leg towards the front and then slowly just make a little pulse here with your legs. You can always increase the range of movement if you want more challenge. So the key thing is make sure that your hips are stabilized and pressed down to the mat here for nine, eight, seven, 
shoulder blades down six keep breathing five inhale up exhale down four three activate your foot two and then last one and move to the opposite side lengthen go up and down little pulls here but increase the range of movement if it's easier for you nine eight seven six and five four three two and last one slowly bring it back to the center hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth rotate your ankles and then reverse and now slowly lift your legs up to 90 degrees again dorsal flex with your feet open your arms to the side one more time now this time i wanted to lengthen both legs to 60 degrees lower your legs if you want more challenge arms along your body if you need more support with your back and now just hold it here now slowly engage your core and then soften your knees and lengthen and soften and lengthen you can always plant a flex with your feet if you want more challenge here so reach your leg a little bit further and lower if you can for five back in neutral don't arch your back really pull the belly button in try to press your lower back down and keep it in neutral position three two and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest that's amazing you know deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth very good now when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side i'm going to do the second round solid with different movement so put your forearm down to the mat and i wanted to engage your core bend your bottom knee here lift your waist up pull the belly button in shoulders far away from your ears and the other hand on top of your hand to make sure you have more support lift your hips up and now engage your core lift your top leg up slowly make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly bring your leg down hand behind your head here lift your leg up move towards the front come back and down to the center 10 come back and 9 use your core to stabilize your hips 8 pull the belly button in shoulders on top of your elbow 7 try to lift as high as you can listen to your body 6 really engage your core very good five four inhale and exhale two that's amazing almost done guys and last one lift and down and up and down and slowly bring it down the last movement for this side lift series i wanted to engage your core and just rest your whole head on your arm again now this time i wanted to pull the belly button in plant our flex with your feet press both hands down to the mat shoulders far away from your ears engage your core hips not forward not backward just hip on hip now inhale lift both legs up and slowly move your legs towards the opposite way and then switch like we're walking in the air here for 10 pull the belly button in nine keep breathing eight inhale and exhale stabilize your hips here only your legs are moving use your core to stabilize your hips very good and four keep your legs parallel to the ground and three very good guys almost done two and last one and to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center legs down show your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and let's move to the other side to do a lip series on the other side all right now from here forearm down to the mat again the other hand on top of your hand and now i want to inhale dorsal flex with your feet bend your bottom knee here lift your waist up lift your hips as high as you can put your shoulders far away from your ears now engage your core and lift your leg up start to make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly bring your leg down and behind your head lift your leg up again to the front and up and down go as far as you can really pull the belly button in to stabilize your hips 9 inhale and exhale 8 lift it up and down and 7 try to control your hips and your torso by pull the belly button in 6 use your core to lift your leg and use the breath to control the movement five inhale up and down exhale lift into the center four shoulders far away from your ears 
You can feel your whole body are shaking right now. Three, I love this movement so much. Two, very good. And last one, inhale up into the front. Exhale, come back and down and rest your hips down. You know, deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Rest your whole head down on your hand, the other hand in front of your chest. Plant up, flex with your feet and leave your leg just above the mat. Bring one leg towards the front and one leg towards the back and to the opposite side. I'm going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath. So 10, 9, stabilize your hips, only your legs are moving. 8, 7, keep breathing. 6, and 5, to the other side. 4, belly button in. 3, and get your core. 2, Shoulders as far away from your ears. And last one. And slowly back to the center. Legs down. You can hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to slowly sit up to do some stretching movement before we complete the workout today. So sit along the mat and you can always go to the front of the mat. So we're gonna do some stretching with your back and your so we're gonna rolling down like a ball here so make sure you go to the beginning of the mat so when we roll down our whole body is still in within the mat hug your shin here lift your heels up and now roll your spine chin to chest so try to lift both legs up and find a balanced spot on your sitting bones here you can start with each leg at a time to kind of feel and aware of the body movement so lift it up engage your core open your elbows wider now activate your feet roll your spine Roll down and only go to the shoulder, not your head. Always keep your chin to the chest, protect your neck five times with your own breath. So inhale down and exhale it. Keep a balanced spot again. And then we're going to try to do it for four more times here. Inhale and exhale. Use your core to hold your feet back and keep the balance here. Three and two and last one and slowly bring it back and feet down shake your hips a little bit and then deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth sit along and in the middle of the mat again now this time i want you to slowly lengthen your legs here or soften your knees if it's easier for you now dorsiflex with your feet or press your heels down into the mat i want you to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your head now slowly rotate the torso to one side come back to the other side and back to the center Feel free to find a position of your feet that you feel good with your back here. Sit on a pillow if you need to lengthening your spine here. And five more times each side here with your own breath. Four, keep breathing to the other side. And three, pull the belly button in. Two, and last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. And on opposite sides, open your torso to the back. Hold it here for five. Four, three, two, one, to the other side. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Now I want you to lengthen your legs here. Open your legs with the part dorsi flex with your feet. I want you to allow yourself to inhale and try to engage your core. Look towards the front. Bring your arms all the way towards the front here. Palms facing down. Inhale and exhale. Reach forward and then come back and again bend your knees if it's easier for your hips so listen to your body here go as far as you can and then come back make sure you pull the belly button in to support your lower back for five shoulders down lengthen your spine sit tall and reach forward again four three almost done guys come back very good two now you can do this and last one inhale exhale reach inhale come back open your arm to the side and start to go lengthen your arms keep your arms parallel to the ground now inhale flex one arm to the front flex forward to the opposite side flex forward again for five more times with your own breath to the other side and four belly button in keep breathing three exhale reach to the opposite side and two more times here <sighs> exhale every time we flex the spine now last one and slowly bring it back to the center and down. Show your hips, hug your knees to your chest and just hold it here. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. 
and one more deep breath and exhale and now try to bend one knee length and one leg towards the back we're going to stretch our hips a little bit here for and hold it here for five four bring your hands small if you can three two and last one feel free to bend your knees and find a good spot so lengthen and stretch your hips five four three and two and last one slowly bring it back to the center here open your legs a bit apart dusty flex with your feet now walk your hands towards the front as far as you can listen to your lower back here so pull the belly button in just go as far as you can listen to your body go further as far as you can for five four three two and then slowly walk your hands back very good keep your feet together open your elbows wider and try to sit tall here or use a pillow for support make a little pulse with your knees for 10 nine eight seven look towards the front five four keep breathing three two and last one flex forward and hold it here go as far as you can again for three two and one slowly come back to the center all right now you're going to inhale open your arm to the side start to make a little pulse here ten nine eight seven six five four three two one reach your hand to one side to the opposite side for five keep breathing four belly button in and three more times with your own breath two and last one and slowly bring it back to the center bring your arm to the front and then come back keep your arms parallel to the ground four three two and last one and slowly bring your hands down shake your hips a little bit inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth close your eyes bring your head to one side lengthen your spine and feel the side of your neck is stretching to the opposite side and one more time to the left and to the right and back to the center look down to the mat feel the back of your neck is stretching Rotate your head from left to right when looking down. And three. Slowly with your own breath. Two. And last one. And back to the center. Look up or as far as you can listen to your neck. And slowly bring it back. Start to rotate your head around your neck here. And reverse. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway. One more deep breath. Pull it to both direction and slowly listen to your neck. And slowly bring it back to the center. Rotate the shoulders fully. And exhale. And then reverse. Lengthen your spine. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes here. Alright, now interlace your fingers here and push your hand to one side. Feel the shoulders and arms stretching to the opposite side. One more time, still lengthen your spine to the other side. Back to the center, lengthen. Lift it up and down for three, two. And last one, slowly bring it down. Shake your hips in a deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale, one more deep breath. And exhale. And that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell to see notifications every day when I upload new video. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye bye.